We're at the Nespa Show in Atlantic City. I'm with Lance Anderson. Lance has been on with me before. Anderson's manufacturing company, which leaktools.com. Yeah. Uh, I use all their products. I uh, love their products. But Lance, want, we're going to talk about the leakalizer yeah. and how it can remove some of the steps from actually finding leaks and maybe uh, save you some money, save you some time, and really pinpoint leaks. So you wanna talk about that, Lance? You bet, yeah, you know, we, we teach a, a methodology where what you wanna to try to do is check every part of the pool to find out where that leak is. And we have specialized equipment for doing all of that. But what's neat about the leakalyzer is the leakalyzer is a device that measures water level changes very precisely, down to the 10,000th of an inch, and then it plots it on a graph. So in a matter of 10 minutes or so, you can determine what the rate of water loss is at the pool. And this is helpful and makes the rest of our leak detection job much more efficient in a couple ways. First of all, if we first of all confirm that there's a leak at the pool before we start doing everything else, we know our time's not wasted. If we figure out there isn't actually a leak at the pool, there's no reason for us to go any further. Right, and I run into that a lot. People insist they have a leak. Yeah. and they just don't realize how much evaporation they can have. Right. And then when we can go out, we can confirm, no ma'am, you do not have a leak, everything, because I can trust this. I can trust this leakalizer. I mean, one ten thousandth of an inch yeah. is not much. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see, the way that I usually calculate it is there's 0.62 gallons in a one square foot by one inch thick slab of water. So if you, in a thousand square foot pool, if you lose one inch of water, you've lost 620 gallons. And you can kind of use that right. 0.62 um, constant in order to figure that out. Now the reason 10 thousandths of an inch is important for us to measure with the leakalyzer is we want to detect water level changes, not just in 24 hours, but in 10 minutes so that we can get live information right, right off the bat. And like I said, that's going to help us determine if we should go further with the leak detection job. But we may find that we are indeed seeing a drop in water level that's faster than what we would think evaporation should be. You can go from there and just start checking some of the common leak areas that you may want to try patching. I think you mentioned, Frank, that skimmers are a common place where you find them. So, yeah. you know, let's go check now and do a quick dye test around the skimmers and the other places we can reach easily from the edge of the pool. If we find something, we can patch those up with some epoxy and come back and run another leakalyzer test and we might find that now we've changed the slope of that graph so that it doesn't indicate a leak any longer. We've now just eliminated all the other steps that we would have had to do otherwise. Right. The pressurizing and the diving and all those other things. And, yep. Uh, suction side, pressure side. It, it was all just one simple leak. One simple leak, yep. Now it's possible, you, you know, the guys that do leak detection are gonna have to be prepared to do all of those things because not every leak is an easy leak right. to find. But when you have the leakalyzer and you're not afraid to go out and, and use it and kind of find a leak and patch some of those easy ones, you might team up with somebody who has more of the equipment, but you'll be able to take care of a high percentage of them yourself. Instead of getting full blown into leak detection, you can be leak confirmation. Right and then let somebody that does have all the equipment that doesn't mind doing the pressurizing and diving and all that. Right, you might be the first responder. You're yes. going out, you're the first responder yes. taking care of the easy ones that you can get taken care of. It may need that that has to go to the next level of, of care or service, yep. but you can take care of it. The leakalyzer is, you know, it's an expensive piece of equipment, but enables you to do that and provide some good confidence to the customer that yeah, you fix the leak and it's no longer Right. And, and you can and you can show them you can show where them. the leak is done right and and then let them sleep at night because people lose a lot of sleep <laughs> yes well you know we always say that leaks are one of these things that's just going to be a part of the pool business no matter what right it's yes. free, it, water's it's skinny happen. it's hard to keep water in anything right. it'll escape now on the leakalizer uh you have an app Yes. That uh, that you can plug the leak laser into, and you can actually show the graphs and do a really nice presentation, yep. and submit that to the client uh, for like somebody that's doing home inspections. Right. Uh, you could use the leak laser, say, okay, this is what we're indicating, but it will also show what if you punch in the zip codes, the weather, and all that. Yeah. That doesn't. I mean, it will give you what the line would be just with evaporation yeah. and then where you're at in relationship to that line. That, that's a good point to bring up is where, you know, a pool is leaking if it's losing more water than evaporation is. 
and the evaporation rate is dependent on a variety of factors. Most of them are weather related or, or pool temperature related. And so we have an app that you can enter in your zip code and it's gonna produce the weather information in your area at that particular time and spit out an estimated evaporation rate. And on a leakalyzer, what we'll do then is at the start of the test, we enter that into the device and it produces a reference line. And you're trying to determine then if the line is going down at a steeper rate than that evaporation rate or not. And that is indeed a part of, a, of an app that comes with the leakalyzer that uh, would be on your phone. It'll give you that ability to determine the evaporation rate. But then once you've saved a few tests on the leakalyzer, you can download those saved tests to the phone and produce graphic files then that can be dropped into a report that can go to the customer. Yeah. And that might include like an initial test that shows that the pool is leaking and then a final test that shows that you've solved all the problems. Somebody that doesn't want to get into leak detection, but you can be a leak confirmation and tell your clients, okay, you do have a leak. Yep. I've proven you have a leak. Yep. It's, it's evident, we've done the measurement because bucket tests, they're a pretty good indicator, but they're not near as uh, precise as like the leakalyzer. Yeah, well, and a, and a bucket test takes 24 hours. Yes. And so usually you're either doing two trips to the pool and it's hard to charge enough to cover two trips to the pool, or yeah. you're having the customer do it. And if right. the customer does it, you can't always depend on the information. Right. So this is, this is giving you information that you need right there at the pool. And you know, leak detecting is something you can kind of get into at gradual steps. So the leakalyzer is a good entry piece to get into and be able to confirm and do some of those simple patches like around the skimmer that we talked about. Right. Um, plumbing leaks are kind of the next thing that's the, that you want to be able to solve. Um, there's a simple way to do some plumbing tests though. These are uh, dye testing cones, we call these. This is a closed plug you'd use to close openings of a plumbing system. And then in one remaining opening of that plumbing system, you put a, a cone like this that has a hole through the middle and a clear tube. And what we're gonna do is once we've isolated that plumbing system, this is underwater, we're now gonna squirt some dye here. And if that dye gets drawn into this tube, it indicates that there's a leak someplace in that isolated plumbing system. Now that's a real inexpensive means of narrowing the search area down and giving the customer more information about where the, the leak problem is. And it's this inexpensive way of checking if the plumbing is leaking or if the leak is in the shell of the pool or the plumbing of the pool. Yeah. I, I, I like that. I mean, cause, yeah, you don't have to jump in full board. Don't necessarily you, have to. You, you can say, hey, I'll do what I can. And then after that, yep. partner up with somebody that does the full job. Yep. But I love this as like the service company, you know, can just put this on, on their service trucks. Yep. Client thinks they have a leak yay or nay and if they do then they can move forward and yeah. with that instead of paying a leak yeah, leak detector to come out pay them 650 dollars to say you don't have a leak right, right. yeah it's, it's <laughs> nice if you can get them to some level of information without having to do the full-blown thing right great to then have a relationship though that we've said i'll say this again yes. with somebody who can do that because there are going to be some jobs that are just going to require a good dive and a, and a lot of pressure testing and some sonic detection and even pulling out cameras or other higher tech equipment. Yeah. But um, a lot of them you can take care of yourself as a service company. Yeah. All right, Lance, I appreciate it. And like I said, I love your equipment. I use all your equipment. Uh, we do full leak detection and uh, your, your tools are top notch. I really do appreciate Great. it. Well, thanks for stopping by. Take care, bud. Yeah. So take a